In this video, I'll show you how you can use individual clips from a single video in your e-learning course. Some of you may already be aware of the concept in Adobe Captivate called multi-slide synchronized video. In fact, slide video was called this in previous versions of Adobe Captivate. And it really focused on the ability to take a single video and distribute it across multiple slides. You can use this for multiple different purposes, but if you wanted to add supplemental content on your slide that was separate from the video, you could time it so those particular objects would appear in time with key points in your video. Let me show you how this works. So I have uh, three blank slides in this Adobe Captivate project here. I'm going to go to slide one and I'm going to drag and drop a video clip that I have on my desktop and it's going to bring us to the insert video dialog. Normally if I just simply click OK here it's going to modify the slide duration of this first slide number one to accommodate the whole video but I can actually choose to distribute this video across multiple slides. So if I go ahead and do that, it will distribute between these three slides that you see here. So what it does is it takes the three seconds of the first slide, three seconds from the second slide, and the remainder of the video goes on to the third slide here. Uh, if you go back to slide one and you want to adjust those transition markers, between slide one and slide two, you can pick new times for those transitions to occur and thereby extending the length of slide one and slide two and possibly reducing slide three. So let's click on edit video timing, which is located in the properties inspector of your slide video. And you'll see that you have these transition markers, the transition uh, between slide one and slide two, and then slide three, of course, is holding up the bulk of that particular project. One of the cool things that you can do here is you're not restricted to having these slides back to back with one another. I can actually put a knowledge check, for example, after slide two. So what we can do is we can click on our quiz drop down menu and select knowledge check, add a multiple choice knowledge check and that will reside and become now slide three, pushing the remainder of the content to slide four. Totally works fine. Let's go back to slide one, click on the video, and click on edit video timing. So you'll see here, the marker shows slide one, slide two, doesn't show slide three, because from a video editing perspective, there is no slide three, but the rest is showing up on slide four. Now, let me show you an example of what adjusting those times will do. We'll have slide four start at the 24 second mark of the video, and we'll have slide two start at maybe the 10 second mark. So, and of course it will adjust the length of these videos accordingly. So now slide one is uh, 10 seconds long approximately there. Slide two is 14 seconds. And then the remaining slightly longer than five seconds is gonna to go to slide four. You're not forced to only divide your video up into three segments because that's what we chose when we brought this video in. You can actually add some additional slides. So for example, if I wanted to add a slide after slide four, we could add a blank slide here go back to our original slide that contains the first clip, click on edit video timing, and we can go down to slide number four here. And let's reduce what would be slide number four. And you'll notice that this icon appears, insert next slide into this session. So it's gonna add slide five and the remaining portion of the video will now go to slide five. Now, here's the really cool part. We've done sort of kind of done some basic video editing. It's completely non-destructive. If we go to the library file, notice that 
the video that is in the library is just a single video. You don't see a whole bunch of clips here. So we haven't damaged the original video. You can see that from Adobe Captivate's perspective, we've used this video four times, just different clips on different slides. If I wanted to add another slide to this and use, maybe even reuse a different portion of that video, I can drag and drop the video onto slide number six in this case, and we can just modify slide duration to accommodate this video. Now, if you don't want to use the entirety of the video clip again, we can once again click on edit video timing. This is now our second instance, and perhaps we only want to show the first 10 seconds. So we can do that and just essentially reuse that same first 10 second clip another time. Also, doesn't affect the library. So now I've used the same clip five different ways. What's really cool, when I publish this project out and we take a look at the files that are within the project files, we go into the VR folder, that's where video gets stored. It just has that single video. So again, it's going to keep your e-learning project down to a minimum size, but still be able to use that video clip a number of different ways within your e-learning project. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.